Okay, the andon cord. Now, the theory behind the andon cord is uh, not extremely difficult, yet it could be one of the most difficult things to implement in an organization. Now, it requires no tooling, no software, no big expensive stuff. Um, it's really simple, and it can be summed up in a single sentence. The andon cord is simply raising a flag and asking for help, and asking others to swarm around you to solve a problem. It, it's really that simple. So it comes from the Toyota production system in which they had a production line and in that line there was a cord and they would pull that cord when they needed help. So basically um, it would stop. Sometimes it would stop the whole production line. Sometimes it wouldn't. It depended on the severity of the problem. But uh, they would stop what they were doing and other workers would come and swarm around that worker to solve the problem. And like I said, sometimes the production line would stop and sometimes it wouldn't. Now the big culture shift here is pulling the cord multiple times is actually considered a good thing. <clears throat> Managers celebrated how many times that cord was pulled, like as a good thing, rather than punish people for it. And the reason why they celebrated it is because every time that happened, that meant something could be learned. Something failed and they had to learn something to solve that problem. And so each time they iterate, somebody learns something. Everybody that swarmed around learned something. And basically that would lead to fewer production problems in the future. So this one is really difficult to push into organizations, um, especially ones that are traditionally siloed. Many times people don't want to ask for help because they don't want attention, they don't want to look stupid, or they just don't want others to interfere with them while they're solving the problem. Um, managers also give some resistance to this because they don't like the idea of a bunch of people stopping work immediately for one simple little problem. But if you research the gains that Toyota enjoyed after implementing this system, it might change your mind. So think about a system like this. Next time you have a failed build or a bug that goes through or a failed deployment, have the team stop what they're doing. Have everybody stop what they're doing and swarm on this one problem. And this kind of habit can make for a lot of increased learning and increased efficiency. And for a reference, Google Andon Cord or Toyota Production System to learn a little bit more about it.